Jerry Lawler was a cornerstone of wrestling. He was one of the foundations that led us to where we're going now. Get down on your hands and knees and kiss my feet! Jerry was a, one of the greatest villains in wrestling history. I look back on all the things that happened here and there, all the coincidences, all the things that shouldn't have happened that did happen. I had heard that uh, every Saturday night in West Memphis, Arkansas, right across the bridge, they have, uh, they have live wrestling matches. I would talk to the promoter, and next thing you know, I'm in the wrestling business. And Fargo taunting Lawler. I come walking out with the crown on, the robe on, and I was, from that moment on, the king of Memphis. He is a brilliant artist. He is an outstanding businessman, a connoisseur of all fine foods and wine. I was young, brash, outspoken. He they knows they want to see the king. Do you huh? think anybody would pay to come down and see a sawed-off runt? Merry Christmas, you rednecks. Uh, he tried everything he could. What are you looking at your watch for? Don't be looking at your watch when I'm out here, you goof. Jerry Lawler was definitely the king of Memphis. He owned that town. Andy Kaufman was this legendary, absurdist comedian. As we said, one of the rising superstars in the world of comedy, welcome to Madison Square Garden, Andy. Hi, how are you? Thank you. I will pay $1,000 to any woman that will beat me in this ring. I'm going to send you back to the kitchen where you belong. I'm going to have you scrubbing the potatoes and washing the, washing the carriage. <laughs> had legit wrestling matches. He had never seen them before. We had never seen these women before. And Kaufman on top, going for a pin. One, two, three, and that's it. I will sue! Lawler, I will sue you! You don't touch me! Kaufman's in the ring, but not for long. Look at him, he's outside again, running away. Andy, you didn't want any part of it. It was this thing fixed or rigged. Are you guys really friends? Is it was it no, a scam? No, not at all. I, I, I couldn't warm up to this guy. We were cremated together. I'll never forget how he said this. He said, wonder what would happen if you just hauled off and slugged me. This was one of the most famous guys in the world. And Jerry Lawler just bitch slops him. Jerry, the Lawler! After the David Letterman show aired, it was a bombardment of attention. At this time, it is my pleasure to introduce the king himself, Jerry the King Lawler. You people are so ugly, I bet when you look in the mirror, your reflections throw up. Oi! Oh my gosh, what a cheap shot! I think he realized that Jerry had a gift for Gab. He fit in that role so well because he knew so much about the wrestling business. Wait, I just made you it. You mean to slap your two pay off? I will, you know. Well, Jim Ross, I must say, it's good to see you back, especially after seeing your front. <laughs> JR, I read so much about sex being bad for you, so I finally gave up reading. You heard of an idiot savant? Well, he's that without the savant. Yeah, Merry Christmas! Woo oh, my God. Jerry always will be that kid that's living his dream. I don't think Jerry wants to grow up, and why should he? <laughs> a 50-year career means you're hooked, you got it in your blood. I've never met an individual who is constantly happy, who constantly has fun. He's gonna go down as one of the greatest of all time. <laughs>